man, did it take you to actually get the brand off the ground and, and be successful in the eyes of you? Right. So that was another uh, issue. I had the brand for four years. So the first two years were just me learning how to make my own garments myself because a lot of brands, you have to go like to uh, overseas to get your clothes and stuff made. So I said, you know what? I don't want to do that. Um, I want to learn how to do it myself. So it took me a couple of years just to learn how to use the machines, um, the simple heat press machines and how to weave and cut with vinyl heat press, or vinyl and stuff like that. And then actually just selling a product personally to see if people will bite and, and they'll, they'll really like it. So I had a mentor. He was like, well, Cliff, if you're going to be serious about your clothing brand, you got to at least sell about $10,000 worth of merchandise. So it took two years to sell $10,000. So made the 10, then I started taking it serious, and then I got my LLC, um, I started doing my taxes, and then mysteriously I did a pop-up event, and um, I was at Navy Pier one day, and I asked the people like, can I open one of these booths here? And they was like, sure. And I was like, is that easy? But I always believe in the mindset, and I believe the law of attraction. I read the book called The Secret. Um, I meditate, and just started this clothing brand itself, brought all those little entities to me that I didn't even know existed in my, in my body or soul. So the, the clothing brand, like I said, is for us. And proud of you, man, straight mm -hmm. up, man. Real talk, man. Mm -hmm. like, man, being like close to, to a brand like uh, Home Navy, man. And, and yeah. Stuff, man. Like, man, that's, that's dope, man. Yeah, and I get a lot of people from different part of the, the world just buying the stuff. And I'm like, man, this is, this is so um, overwhelming and I'm joyful about that. And then my goal is to actually um, get a, uh, a bigger store and have more equipment and machines and hire people to work in my store. Because if you think about it, we don't have a major clothing brand here with a warehouse. Yeah, so true. I want to have a warehouse where like if you want to start your clothing brand tomorrow, you ain't got to go overseas to get your stuff made. You come to the Swanky store or the Swanky warehouse get your stuff made for the cheap, the same price you would, you would spend with them, get it made, and if you like it, you like it. If you don't, at least you try it, at least you know you got access to it, and then you get to see the product, not test run, because a lot of people overseas, you gotta get a sample for them, they give you a good sample, but then you spend thousands of dollars just getting samples from them guys, and it'd be crap. And that's what the game they run. I get a bunch of messages on my IG, man, they, can I do business with you, sir? No, I do it myself. And besides, when you, t when you touch my garment, it has to be swanky. So you have to have that swanky spirit just to touch my garment because when I sell it to you, you're you going to feel a difference. And that's the goal, too. Mm -hmm. So how much would a, um, a swanky um, jacket cost? So I got, I got jackets. The jackets was limited. So the thing about the, the brand is that I've got, I buy limited stuff and I'll sell it for the low. So I got jackets for like 50 bucks. I got hoodies for 45 And the goal is for me not to have a brand where it's a trend. The goal is to have the brand for legendary meaning as in like i want to be the next nike i want to be the next uh new balance and pool because if you notice the logo is simple mm -hmm. now i do have like the shirt you have like the savage shirt i have a swanky drip i'm, I'm like it's going it sells but i'm quite sure that's not going to be the longevity of the clothing brand but the swirl dot which is simple the uh original the, the swanky signature that's original those are the ones that give me the longevity because these are the outfits i want you to throw on when you go to the laundromat when you go to the to the grocery store not just when I'm, I'm kicking and I'm put on this this hot this 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 uh, swanky garment. I want you to wear it every day. So now it becomes a norm. I'm trying to link up with a couple of artists as well and, and give them some of the outfits. Um, I got a couple of DJs on my uh, side. I got you. Okay, got you. Yeah, I got a couple of DJs. I'm trying to to link up with and just get the brand out there and just get it known. And then my goal is to whoever's intact with the swanky brand, I'm going to make sure I represent them too. So like the artists that were just here, I'm gonna get this information, I got this information. If there's anything I can, if the, if the brand grow and there's anything I can do to help out, I'm gonna help out because I, get, I need to show my generation how to stick together with the young generation. The stuff you guys was doing, I was doing back then, just a little bit different. The pants sagging as y'all thing, ours was gym shoes with the, the laces, different colors and crisscross and stuff. So it was the same thing, you know what I'm saying? So it's, it's like I said, swanky is a movement. Mm -hmm. you me there you go, I got you. <laughs> Do you remember Confrabons? Confrabons? Yeah, Confrabons. Like back in the day. Yeah, right, yeah. Right. Describe that to him because what I was trying to say, <laughs> he was like, what the hell are you talking about? 
And see, that's a good idea because maybe I can make a squanky copper bond uh, and then these, the, the, the youth will know about it. I told him, and see, this <laughs> made the case for why I should do a song for him. I messed around and let this slip out. Then back in the day when I was a little shorty, I sung in the choir. Uh -oh. So I used to have to have a different colored one for a different color Sunday. So like yellow was like, right. like the same color you got on top. <laughs> I had one of those on around my right. waist. And I was trying to explain it to him. And he was like, bro, I, 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 I know there's an age gap, but I, I really just don't know what you're talking mm -hmm. about. So like, if you could really like paint that picture for him. Like, like, describe, like, if you got a site he can go to, there maybe somebody got one on. You know what I'm saying? Like, I can, right I can pull up one of my prom pictures. I got, like, See, I got a, a go. sequence one on. There we go, right there. There we go. Send that to me, and I'll forward that to him, and I'll show him. Because I believe they still make those. Like, yeah, they, people they go, do. people who do suits and all that yeah, stuff. They do. But I just think maybe that's not the terminology as far as what they call it. I think it's still a compromise. The compromise is a huge belt. That's how you look at it. Right. It's a huge belt. That's what it is. A different color. That's all it is. Right. You got a black one, you got a red uh -huh. one, a yellow one, a purple one. Mm -hmm. Now he's looking at me crazy. Right. <laughs> <laughs> See, I got that. I got that. <laughs> All right, man, so get back to it. But I'm going to swank you, man. Accomplishments, man, that you're like super proud of, man, since you've had the brand. Accomplishments? Uh, so, actually, just enlighten myself. And that's a major compliment. And the fact that uh, now I'm trying to enlighten my peoples around me, my peers. And um, I'm at Navy Pier, and that's a major compliment, compliment for, accomplished for me because I can't believe I'm at Navy Pier with my clothing brand. Coming from the south side of Chicago, Inglewood. Mm -hmm. Come on, clap it up in Inglewood, man. Mm -hmm. We a bad reputation, and I'm representing it to the fullest and let people know like it ain't like that in Inglewood everywhere. Speaking of Inglewood, right, this gives me a perfect opportunity to do this, This is, which is legal. Uh, this is WIIT 88.9 FM Chicago, so I got the legal business out the way. And the, the other thing is, man, so I saw the article in uh, Chicago Media Takeout that people are not happy as to what's replacing Whole Foods and um, mm -hmm. Inglewood. Did you hear about that? I heard about that, it's yeah. It's save a lot. Which Save a Lot, I didn't notice until Monday mm -hmm. that Save a Lot and Aldi are actually in the same family. Correct. Never knew that. And right. so I was like, well, Aldi is losing right now. You know what I mean? Um, because a lot of people are disappointed in the taste. And, and my father went and got some food, and within two days, it was spoiled. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. And even the meats, like different stuff, different people, like, you know, since they started spending money on advertising, it seemed like the product. Line has went right. like they switching brands on you, and you don't even know. You thinking that you ain't put enough cups in your coffee, and it's really the cream. <laughs> Man, it's going in the same right, right. That's what it really is. You yeah. know what I mean? Like, mm -hmm. they tell you that it went from Friendly Farms to Barnissima. <laughs> they didn't tell you that. They didn't tell you that. Right. You know what I'm saying? You still back. Oh, yes. It's 229. They probably just changed the coloring on the package mm -hmm. from, uh, from green and orange to, uh, to, to white and brown. That's what right. it was. And it's like, no, that's a whole nother brand. Still stamping up, mm. and so um, you know the thought is is that with saying a lot coming is that it's a lower end store, and why can't they get something that's better? And I was sitting there thinking to myself, well, if Aldi is doing that bad, and they're the same family and Save a Lot is doing better, what could happen is Aldi actually could close. Right. You know what I mean? And it's, you know that's what Aldi could happen. It's that actually Aldi a few. That's, been, it's actually a few that has been closed down in the area. All right. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. It has right. man. Dude, some some is due to theft, and some is due to just like folks not coming. Right. Right. Folks, folks coming. And then we 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 you know our 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 culture tend to tear up our own stuff, which I still don't understand that yeah. concept. Yeah. Um, and that's another thing that I want to get into too with the clothing brand too, like that awareness, like to unify us together as one. Know that we can do this together as one, and um, just stick together because we tear up our own neighborhood. But on the south side of Chicago, I, I do want to um, actually, as the brand grows, I do want to start getting those tiny um, square containers and like buy a bunch of the parking lots and stuff and the tow down areas and put those containers in there and, and do some housing. I want to get into that and uh, you have to go to school to stay in those housing and once you get your degree you can move out. So the little detailed things I want to do especially on the south side and the schools in the south side is kind of not where it's supposed to be you know and I want to help that out too. So it's a lot of little detailed things on the south side. I do want to use this brand for that too as well. So I need support of course 
But, you know, sometimes we have to lead by example. And I noticed that with our culture, you have to show and prove before you get the support. So right now, I look at it like this here. I'm using other cultures to support the brand, and then I'll get their information, if you know what I mean, and then I'll share with my people. That's what's up, man. Mm -hmm. Man, all that stuff you just said, man. Mm -hmm. Man, clap it up to you, man, for uh, having you. those goals, man, and everything, man. Once again, man, how can people follow the brand, get behind you, man, support you, my brother Swanky, in the building? So the, the easiest thing about this is just Swanky, S-W-A-N-Q-E-E. -E. You can go on TikTok, Facebook, Instagram, just type in the word Swanky. You can even Google Swanky and I'll pop up because I own the word. So that's the beauty about it. If you, if you even go on YouTube and just type in Swanky, I'll pop up because we own that word. Well, brother, man, thank you so much, man, for coming by, man. Continue success, man, on all of this. Hey, man. We everybody, everybody grand morning, evening, depending on when you watch this video. I just did an interview with these young gentlemen on a radio station, and it was very, very interesting because they gave me the opportunity to actually explain myself about the clothing brand and, and what Swanky represents and the power of the word Swanky. And I got an opportunity to actually preach about Swanky and all the things it brought me. And it was very, very uh, interesting because as I'm doing the interview, I can hear myself talk. And it felt like I was rambling on like da 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 and these are things that I have to work on, which is good because these little small, oh, I'm not gonna even say small, these experiences that I'm going through, it's, it's, very lear it's a learning process. I got work to do, but I am here at the college on 32nd and State. Wonderful gentlemen, young brothers, they got the young radio station, had a good time, they were great, great personality, I feel so refreshing so good because wow i'm really gonna do this i'm really going to do this and i feel it so with that being said i love you guys if no one else told you they love you i do and um talk to you guys later peace